Welcome to the Toolbox. My name is Charles Morin. I'm a product support specialist. Today we're going to go ahead and be walking through the actual daily inspections of the SR5719. Let's get to it. We're going to go ahead and check all the fluids. First thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and just make sure that your fuel separator, that we don't have no accumulated water, and if so, we can go ahead and just drain it at that time with the provided valve here on the bottom side. Next, you'd want to go ahead and check your oil level. Make sure it's at the adequate level at that time. If needed, you can go ahead and fill the oil here to capacity. Next, you'd want to go ahead and make sure that your reservoir, your coolant reservoir, is properly filled. If so, go ahead and top that off. Next thing you want to do is go ahead and inspect all of your hoses. Make sure that there's no actual leaks, no cracks. Inspect your belt right here. Make sure that you have no type of cracks at that time. Again, just go ahead and visually inspect all of your hoses. Make sure you have no type of fuel leak, things of that nature. Once you're done with that part, we're gonna go ahead and move on over to inspecting your wheels. Make sure that all of your lugs are actually fastened and torqued. You have no issue there. We do not have any type of damage to the tires themselves. For safety, you wanna make sure that your mirrors are in good working order, that there's no cracks or breaks in them. So moving on to the front of the machine, we'd like to go ahead and inspect to make sure that there's no actual leakage around the cylinder itself. Then start moving on to the front of the carriage, make sure that there is no actual cracks in any of the welds, as well as inspecting the forks to make sure that we do not have any type of cracks here at the actual main section of the fork and there's no type of actual bending of the forks themselves. Here at the front of the machine, we have the battery cutoff switch. The other thing to keep in mind is to go ahead and make sure that we do have all of our safety decals that are legible and on the actual machine themselves. Next, we wanna go ahead and make sure that we do have our load charts on the unit to ensure that we can uh, reference them when operating the unit under safe load conditions. From here, we'll move on to the back of the unit. We need to go ahead and make sure that we do have proper hydraulic oil in the unit. If not, go ahead and top it off. Lastly, here on the back, we'd like to go ahead and inspect the hydraulic hoses, make sure that we don't have any type of damage, cracks, or leakage of the hoses. Now we'll go ahead and do an operational check of the unit. Always when operating the vehicle, you wanna go ahead and fasten your seatbelt. Safety first. Next, we're gonna go ahead and turn the ignition switch to the on position. Right here to the right hand side is the actual start button. We'll go ahead and depress that. What we're looking at here is to make sure that we do have all function of the unit itself. So the joystick, you'd wanna go ahead and depress the enable button, press it down and slightly start pulling back to start raising your boom section. At that point, we'll go ahead and test the tilt function of the forks themselves. Next off, we'll go ahead and extend the boom outward. Now we'll go ahead and rest the boom back down. At this point, you wanna also go ahead and make sure that your horn is physically working. Next, we're gonna go ahead and test the drive function. We will go ahead and press the brake release at this time. At the joystick, you'll go ahead and hit the F button for forward. Then we'll go ahead and try it in reverse. Once you depress the actual parking brake, the unit will automatically go into neutral. That concludes the daily inspection of the SR5719. Come back to the toolbox for more helpful content.